The next one that we would have, uh, like to have a look at is vertical exaggeration. Now, vertical exaggeration is uh, one of the calculations that most of you uh, struggle a lot with. So let's have a look at this. This is very important that you follow me all the time. The vertical exagger exaggeration. Okay, very, very, very important uh, this. So let's have a look at our vertical exaggeration. Very important people is that you must know that your vertical exaggeration, you must be able to draw a cross section firstly. Now, sometimes it's not needed in the exams. Sometimes they provide you with a cross section. Or sometimes they provide you with a vertical scale. But please, people, remember in the past few exams, they also asked you to draw uh, a cross section. So you must have that skill. Now, we haven't got time here in this program to show you how to draw uh, a cross section because you've, you've got to practice and practice and practice all the time. You've got to know how to do that. So please, again, go back to your teacher if you don't know how to do your cross, uh, your, your cross section. Very important. And you must also be able to, to label certain features on the cross section. In this examination, those questions have been, uh, have been asked. So please, people, have a look. Be sure that you have the skill to draw a cross, a cross section. Okay, so let's have a look at our, 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 our vertical exaggeration. Here we've got a cross section. Here we've got our vertical scale running that way. And our horizontal scale, as you can see, this was done on a topographical map. In other words, it was 1 to 50,000. So let's just have a look at what's very, very important by your uh, vertical exaggeration. The first thing, is, and this is a very popular question. Look at the question there. Why are cross section, uh, sections exaggerated when they are drawn? Now, look at the, the, the uh, uh, exam question paper from which it came. It came from the February-March exam 2011. In other words, the exam that they've uh, just written now. And they ask you, but why must your vertical scale be exaggerated? And the reason, therefore, people, is to see the relief of the landscape. Now, if your vertical scale is not exaggerated, what's going to happen is your line scale is going to appear very, very nearly like in a straight line. Okay, but when we we exaggerate the vertical scale, what's going to happen then? Then you will be able to see the valleys, you'll be able to see the rivers, you'll be able to see the mountains because we have uh, exaggerate, uh, exaggerated this the vertical scale. Okay, now now we must do a calculation regarding vertical exaggeration. So let's have a look. The, the most important thing, people, is that you must know how you must know the formula. Now, the formula that we've got here is vertical uh, exaggeration equals to the vertical scale divided by the horizontal scale. In other words, what we've got here is that scale that we've got here, in other words, the vertical scale here on top, and then we've got the horizontal scale, it must be divided by the horizontal scale. Now, have a look at this very, very closely, people, because you've got to understand that. You've got to understand how do I get to my formula? And what do I use when I want to calculate vertical exaggeration? And that is where the problem lies with, with this calculation. You people don't know or you, you, which ones to use, which scales to use, and how to use them. The most, many of the mistakes are made because people don't know how to use their scales and where to put the scales when they, when they uh, do this, this ordinary uh, division uh, calculation. Okay, so let's have a look at our vertical exaggeration. Here we've got the same one. And all I've done was that I put it down here for you. Our horizontal scale we had it was 1 to 50,000. In other words, it was on a topographical map. And the vertical scale, 4 millimeters equals 20 meters. Now, let's have a look. How do we go uh, do this calculation? Firstly, step one. Convert the, uh, the vertical scale to a ratio scale. Now, if you ever look at your racial scale, uh, uh, ratio scale here, here we've got 4 millimeters equals to 20 meters. Here we've got a ratio scale. Here we must convert this one also to a ratio scale in order to do the vertical uh, exa uh, exaggeration. Otherwise, we can't do that. So here I've got 4 millimeters uh, uh, equals to 20 meters. Now see what I've done here. I've just converted meters to millimeters here. Now I've got 4 uh, 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 millimeters equals 20,000 
millimeters. In other words, we've got the same units here. And when I've got the same units, then it becomes very easy. Now, let's have a look at this. Here I've got the 4 to 20,000. Now it's quite easy. If I've got a 4 here, and you divide that 4 into 20, then it means I will have 1 to 5,000. That's an easy division sum. Now let's have a look at this. Now I've got a horizontal scale in the ratio format, 1 to 50,000. And I've got my vertical scale also in the ratio format, 1 to 5,000. Very important, people. I think I'll go that th uh, through that again with you. If you've got your vertical scale, 4 millimeters equals 20 meters. Then we've got 4 millimeters equals 20,000 millimeters. We use the same units. 4 to 20,000. So if I divide that 4 into 20, then I'll have 1 to 5,000. So now I've got two scales that are exactly the same, and only now I can proceed with, with, with this, uh, this calculation. So let's proceed and see what happens next. The next thing that I must do is very easy. I must place all this in the formula. And when I place the vertical scale and the horizontal scale in the formula, it will look something like this. Here I've got the, ver the vertical scale, which is 1 to uh, 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 5,000, at the horizontal scale, which is 1 to 50,000. Now, if you have a look at that, you'll see that these are called fractional scales. 1 to 50,000 uh, uh, divided by, uh, sorry, 1 to 5,000 divided by 1 to 50,000. Now, it, it, it's an ordinary division uh, calculation now. So, what must I do now? What happens now is if I divide fractions, then I change the division to multiplication, and I turn this fraction around. And then I get 50,000 on top and 5,000 at the bottom. And then my answer would be 10 times. So the vertical exaggeration is thus 10 times that we've got here. So this is very important, people. See that you are, are, are in a position to answer uh, vertical ex ex exaggeration. And I would just like to remind you again, please see that you know how to do your, draw your cross section on your topographical map as well as on your photo, uh, auto photo map. Okay, so this is, this is the vertical exaggeration.